Mr. President, may I ask you about inflation? It's weird that you're not even blinking. Blink once if I can ask you about inflation. Strong communicator. I like that. Okay, inflation is at a 40-year high. Pretty good shape, huh? No, actually, inflation is like golf. A high score is bad. As a result, many Americans are struggling to put food on the table for their families. They're scared. Inflation is at 8.3%. Well, first of all, let's put this in perspective. Inflation rate month to month was just, uh, 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 just an inch. Inflation is measured in percentage points, not inches. Inches are used more for measuring distance. Do you think it's good news that you're not even aware how inflation is measured? No, I'm not saying it is good news, but it was 8.2 or 8.2 before. Those are the same number. We're in a position where for the last several months it hasn't spiked. It is just barely, it's been basically even. I like how now you're using your hands to measure inflation. It seems more exact, and I think it adds more credibility to your answer. Now, because it's a major concern for many Americans, I'd like to ask you, is the border secure? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. But for the record, blink once if we're still not allowed to be honest about that. Got it. Now in our country, some dangerous extremists have said you lack the mental focus for the job of president. They've even used the term dementia. Now, we know their claims are nothing but misinformation based on racism because they're white and you're white. But just humoring them for a moment, if you were to do a bit of a role play or an impression, if you will, of a man who does have dementia and you were responding to their unsubstantiated claims of mental decline, how would that sound? <laughs> I, say it's, I think it's, I, I haven't, look, I have trouble even mentioning, even saying to myself my own head the number of years. I no more think of myself as being as old as I am than fly. I mean, it's just not, uh, uh, I haven't observed anything in terms of, there's not things I don't do now that I did before, whether it's physical or mental or anything else. Well, that's pretty good. The incomplete sentences and how each one conveys no complete thought or information, yet each sentence tries to build on the previous incomplete sentence. I'd say it takes a lot of mental focus to put together an impression that good. At times when you're leaving this stage after a speech, most of the time actually, you seem confused as to where to go and what's happening. And in those moments when it finally occurs to you again, oh, I'm the president, what goes through your mind? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. Hmm. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. That's also what goes through the minds of most Americans in those moments. Now, Mr. President, if you theoretically wanted to start World War III, principally between the U.S. and China, how would you answer the following question? If China were to invade Taiwan, would the U.S. defend Taiwan? Yes. Yeah, that would probably do it. Let's just hope no one ever asks you that and you say that for real. Do you still have voluntary bowel control? No. Well, I appreciate your honesty. And it makes me curious, if you're ever warned when someone's going to be taking you out of the house, do you ever try to go poopy on the toilet ahead of time? No, not ahead of time. Fair enough. In your daughter Ashley's diary that she wrote, she indicates that you showered with her at inappropriate ages. And she goes on to say that she thinks she may have been sexualized by you. What's your response to the naysayers who think you shouldn't have sexualized your own daughter? Watch me. And in those moments when you were looking at her nude body in a way that she says made her feel uncomfortable, what did you say to your daughter? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's happening. Very comforting fatherly words, if I may say so. And did you sniff her? Yes. Some people speculate that you may have done the old weaponize the FBI routine and use them to confiscate Epstein's little black book. Mr. President, do you know where Epstein's client list is? I got that. You do? Well, will you be turning it over to law enforcement so justice can be served? No. 
Oh good, I can see how it's better this way. But what would you say to someone who has another copy of Epstein's client list and was thinking about turning it over to law enforcement? Don't, don't, don't. That's good advice. Oh, and pro tip, probably don't let Hunter take a turn washing over that thing. Otherwise the cleanup work on that could be a pretty heavy lift. Mr. President, in closing, You've sold your soul to corporate interests, pharmaceutical companies, and the deep state long ago. But what would you say to a young person who's thinking about acting on the same temptation? Tain. And it's just so, so unnecessary. So wrong. I think young people can learn a lot from that. And thank you for all of this, Mr. President. This has been very enlightening from all the American people on the half of the country that you don't hate. We wish you well in what is sure to be a very strong re-election campaign. Do I need to drop you off anywhere? Old age home. I'll have him pull the car around. <laughs>